Sculpting with subdivision models mostly work the way you would expect. It's a fairly intuitive process, but we should take a look at some special cases to really understand what's this happening under the hood. So we got this model open and it's several subdivision levels you can say it has. One, two, three. And the thing is that if you want to work on the highest of le uh, subdivision level, you can go uh, up to the higher level. And if you want to work on the lower, you can go to the lower level. But why do we use uh, what for uh, like for what purpose we will use for higher subdivision and for what purpose we will use the lower subdivision? Let's see that one. So as uh, probably expected, the higher subdiv uh, subdivision levels are good for sculpting details. So add some a little bit more towards it. Let's go to the three. So let's add some more, like that five. And let's suppose I want to create some, uh, you know, details here. Let me draw, you know, some veins going on here. Okay. And then, you know, I can smooth it up at this stage over here. So, you know, these kind of things I can do that. But this is, I won't be able to do on the lower subdivision because I will not have enough uh, room for this kind of a detail here. Now, suppose if you want to to move this item, you know some of the parts to move the item. Let me add some more here. Let let's add one more. Okay. So if I will go to the uh, you know to my subdivision of my brushes here. Okay. So I will go to the move brush B M and V here. Okay. Oops, I think it changed the color. So let me try again, V and V, and I'm here in the, in the move tool. So let me make this precise bigger here. And let's try to move some part here. Now, as you can see, I'm moving. So it's, you know, it's becoming quite heavy. It's, it's quite cumbersome for me to move these, okay? Now, the reason here is that because the subdivision level is so high that it is making my computer slower while I'm moving this. So, this is where you might want to use the lowest subdivision level. So, let me undo that, okay, a couple of times. So, I can go back to my original state over here. And once I will go to the lower, or like you know uh, to the subdivision level now and then try to move and you can see how smoothly I am able to move it. So once I am satisfied with my result I can go back to my higher subdivision level and start working on it and you can see the details are still there. So as I said if you are using uh, fine details like a brushing, like a standard brush, or adding uh, like a, you know, uh, damn standard brush, and and those kind of things you're doing. So for so for all those uh, uh, like uh, settings, basically, uh, it's better to go on the higher subdivision level. Okay, so let me go back to my standard and just show you the same thing. You know, it's doing good when I'm working on the higher subdivision level. However, there are other brushes where it really makes sense to go to a lower subdivision level so that uh, it won't do some kind of changes. Like for example, if I will go to my clay brush tool, so I will press B, C and L and I am in the clay brush tool. Now, let's see how it works and uh, with this brush uh, you can see how nice detail I have here on the nose but if I will use my clay brush tool on the higher subdivision level and try to cover this area so what it will do is that it will remove that detail off from it so you can see I don't have that detail anymore there let me try one more time without uh, my you can say uh, the symmetry tool and let's try over here so if I will draw here so you can see it is kind of removing all the details that I had it there okay 
So this is a kind of brush that will be good if you are adding the details on the lower subdivision level. So let me undo this one and let's go back to the lower subdivision level and then try to add this some uh, details over here. And if I will go back to my higher subdivision level, notice it did apply that clay brush tool, but the details are still there. So this is, uh, you know, a great way of using a uh, clay brush tool. And that's the trick. Go back to your lower subdivision level, add your, uh, you know, details that you want to up apply there because it's just uh, apply some clay effect on it. So maybe if you don't want to go to all the way one, maybe you can go to uh, level two or three. Okay, if you feel that is uh, good enough for you, and then you can add some details over there, and then you can come back and see what happens. Okay, so still you can find all the details are still there. So in general, I recommend going to a detail level that's just high enough to capture whatever kind of sculpting or editing you are trying to make. This is also interesting to work with with the smooth brush tool. Okay, because uh, sometimes what happens is that if you're on the higher subdivision level, the smooth brush tool might not work. Let's see uh, how it works on the higher subdivision level or lower subdivision level. So uh, let me make this precise a little bigger and let me undo whatever I have done so far here. Okay, let's go back and add some subdivision levels over here. Now, if I want to... Uh, smooth this area this part of the nose so i will press shift key over here and try to smooth this out here okay and let me increase this or let me go to the four subdivision level and try now you can see it is smoothing over here okay but what it is doing as well is that it is mostly affecting the fine detail but it's also kind of smoothing out the overall shape as well. So if you go on a subdivision level, which is uh, lower than this, let me undo this part here and go back to the where it was before. Okay. And let's add some subdivision here. Now, if I will go back to the subdivision level one here, okay. And then if I will just go here, smooth this area out. Okay, and if I will go back to my higher subdivision level, you will notice that it has only smoothed out the big details, the larger details, but the fine details is as it is. So if you want to keep the fine details, but you want to smooth out the big details, so uh, you can go to the subdivision level one and start smoothing that area. So if you will go back to your subdivision level six after that, you will notice that only the larger areas are smoothed out. Okay. But the fine details are as it is. So again, it's about being on the subdivision level that has the detail or the form or the structure that you are trying to affect. And also I have uh, told you about some of the shortcuts in the last lesson. Okay, to go below the subdivision level, if you want to go below the subdivision level, you have to just press Shift D and it will start going down. And if you want to go one level up, so you will press D. And if you want to apply us, you know, uh, additional subdivision, you just press Control and D. So knowing uh, the hot uh, hot keys, this can be a very fast to work in ZBrush. You can make changes on this higher subdivision level and then quickly hit Shift. D and a couple of times you can go to the lower subdivision level, do whatever you need to do and then hit a D to go up to the subdivision level which will take you to the higher subdivision level. So you can really work quite quickly and switch to the subdivision levels that most efficient for whatever you are trying to do. So guys, I hope you have understood about this whole detail of working with the subdivision levels here and what is happening in the background. So, uh, Guys, uh, thanks for liking my videos. If you have liked this video, also click on the like button. And also, if you want to follow me and wants to know what is going on, don't forget to click on the 
bell icon so you can get all the notification if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel as a uh, so you can uh, i can be more motivated and we can continue uh, with our more lessons i will create more content for you all so take care everyone we'll meet in the next lesson till then uh, enjoy and take care